Hello and welcome to The Guitarist Lounge episode 5, a show that is dedicated to promoting and marketing guitarists around Brighton. Joined on the show today, it's Laurent. It's me. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show, mate. Thank you for having me. It's absolutely fine. I'm going to delve straight into your guitar playing style. Who inspires you? What makes you pick up the guitar now? Well, it was actually Bon Jovi. <laughs> it's actually Bon Jovi. It's not a joke, I was 12 and I saw a video for you give love a bad name. <laughs> Too cool. but, you can't, but it's a bit of a yeah. it's a bit of a banging solo, isn't it? You know what I mean? I'm like this. With the guitar in the crowd and stuff, and like, <laughs> I just wanna just wanna have hair like that. You just, that was, yeah. you, just you, you you saw the rock star yeah. lifestyle and just went fucking. That's what I'm gonna smash out. Exactly. Uh, Still emotional connection to hair metal, but I've away. I'm growing, growing up. So you <laughs> say that was your roots, the hair metal thing. <laughs> Apparently, I guess. I guess. You can't really hear it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well, what what sort of thing are you playing now then? If you've grown out the Bon Jovi, I enjoy, I enjoy a bit of Johnny Winter. Mhm. Mm I enjoy a bit of. Uh, uh, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan. Steve Ray Vaughan. Steve Ray Vaughan. I do enjoy a bit of Pink Floyd as well. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, nice. <laughs> David Gilmour. Mhm. Mm well, all those. That, that, does that explain the guitar you've got sat behind you? Is that the exact exa inspiration exa behind that choice? Uh, no, I just, I just really like the colour on it. You like the colour on it? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I've, I've normally have my, uh, my Gibson Firebird, but I thought today I'd play something a bit different. That's cool. Know? So what are you, you going to play for us today? Uh, probably some, a little blues jam, uh, little blues jam. with the host here. Can you do a Stevie Ray Vaughan as good as Stevie Ray Vaughan? Absolutely jam? not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd ask you. Um, so you've got the Gibson, you've got the Fender. Yeah. What was the first guitar? Back back in your Bon Jovi days. What was I, your... I had a I had a Squire uh, Telecaster. Squire Telecaster. Yeah. We had a few Squires actually. as the first guitar. I yeah. feel like that's quite a good. That's a trend. It's it's, it's they're good actually. They're good. Yeah. They're good. It's a classic. It's not quite as quite as this day. Like the little Esquire Squire that I've got. Of course. Yeah. The no pick. Oh, the one pick up one. The one pick up one. The no pick. No, no pick just up one. No pick up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've mentioned loads of artists there. You've got Steve Ray. I'm joking. <laughs> um, out of all these, like you know, guitar pieces, have you got like a, a guitar piece? Like, like Bon Jovi is not my influence. Guitar. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not convinced. Man. Um, would you say there is one guitar piece out of like all of them that you're like, that's my favourite? You listen to it and like, that's my favourite guitar performance or song ever. You don't have to answer this straight away. I'm just wondering. I, 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 I'd say Mississippi Blues by Jody Windsor, that live version. Nice. I can okay. even play a little bit of it as well. A bit true, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, that's great. That is a great. That's, it's I iconic blues, isn't it? Um, well, it's all the talking guitars. Shall we plug in? Yes. And let's see this blues jam. Let's see how many of these guitars you can squeeze in. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> 